the whole thing wobbing, what, what, wobbing, what, what, wobbing. When I come around, got the whole thing wobbing, what, what. Today we're going to be talking about what to do day one of Madden 23 Ultimate Team. There's a lot of information that we already know about Madden Ultimate Team. A lot of free cards, a lot of stuff that we can kind of already have a little list put together. So as soon as the game drops, you guys can hop in and do what you need to do. Now, I do want to give a shout out to Dave Edits for being a part of the Naughty Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are sub to the channel. Turn the notification bell on and comment down below. Naughty Gang. Also, guys, we have the NFL preseason currently going on. And if you guys are watching this video, maybe the day it's posted, we actually have preseason games on today, which if you guys have not already checked out Underdog Fantasy, you can use code ZERT to match first deposit up to $100 and follow me over on Twitter for my picks and the draft versus me and those season-long private fantasy drafts. And also, if you guys didn't already see I'm going to have five all Madden editions of Madden 23. That link will be at the top of the comment section. Now, I also do want to let you guys know that I'm going to be going over with you guys what you should be doing day one, kind of give you a list of things to do. But when the game drops, I definitely will be doing another video when we actually get our hands on the game, which if you missed my video this morning, I showed you guys how to actually play it August 15th and not August 16th. But I will definitely make another video once we actually have our hands on the game with more descriptive what to do first once we get the game, because there's some things we don't know about, but I always like to do these videos beforehand because... I'm not going to be able to quickly get that video out. I have other videos that I do first. Okay, so let's get started on this pretty much checklist of things that you guys should be doing as soon as you get the game. Now, the number one thing to know is when do you get the game, right? As I said, I went over this morning uh, how to actually play Madden 23 early and how to play it at 8 a.m. Eastern time on August 15th. If you guys have the all Madden edition, you can do that. But if you guys have the standard edition, of course, you'll be getting the game on August 19th. And if you guys have the EA Play Trial and maybe you don't have the game pre-ordered, well, you will also be able to get that on the 16th, which it usually comes early. So the trial will probably be on the 15th as well. And of course, knowing which version of the game is really, really key to what you should do first because there are extra things you get. Now, if you guys pre-ordered the all band edition of Madden 23, I want to say the day was July 22nd, I think it was. If you pre-ordered it by then, then you do get an all Madden edition player, which you have a choice of Micah, Barry Sanders, Cam Chancellor, or Cooper Cup. It's very important to know how many free players you guys actually are going to be getting because that's really, really key when it comes to what to do first. But not only do you guys get those free players, you also get the choose two elite ultimate team players, which I'll quickly run through those in a moment here. And you should just kind of keep in mind what players you're going to be going after. Then you have 4,600 Madden points. That's something that I definitely will be talking about here momentarily. And it's something that I think maybe some people are kind of skipping over here and not paying too much attention to is you do get exclusive early access challenges. We don't know exactly what those challenges are going to give you just yet as of this moment. And if you guys pre-order the game right now, then you will also get an exclusive 82 overall free elite headliners player. And if you already pre-ordered, then you also get that and the all Madden edition player if you got in time for that. So if you guys already pre-ordered Madden 23, regardless of if you have the all Madden edition or just the standard you will get these free players so I'll quickly run over them but I will let you guys know when it comes to a lot of the free players I'm going to talk about today I did make a video a couple of days ago going over the best way to build your team day one where I went over in my opinion the best free players to pick from pretty much all the free player options you're going to get uh, but if you guys did pre-order the game or if you do pre-order the game then regardless of it's all manner standard you're going to get this pack here we could choose one of these three offensive players in Isaiah Simmons Jabril Peppers and Montez Sweat. Sweat, in my opinion, is definitely the best one. And you also get to pick one of these offensive players, which include DeAndre Swift, Jalen Waddle, which again, in my opinion, is the best one here because he's 86 speed, and then Lamar Jackson. So knowing which edition of the game you guys already have pre-ordered is, of course, really big because you get a bunch of free stuff there. But something else you need to keep in mind are what free players you're getting not just from the pre-order but also from rookie premieres if you guys played madden 22 you actually have until august 15th at 11 59 p.m eastern time to still come back and do these rookie premieres so that's again just something you guys kind of have to keep in mind is okay how many free rookie premieres am i going to get and again you guys can check out the video I just made going to the best way to build your team day one because I also went over, in my opinion, some of the best free rookie premieres to pick. Now, when you do finally get your hands on the game, I will say the number one thing that you want to instantly do 
is not go take advantage of your free players. Don't go do rookie premier sets or use your tokens if they're going to be available August 16th. I don't know if you're going to get the tokens August 16th. I know last year, I think we had to wait until the standard edition release. They haven't officially said when we're getting the tokens just yet. So we'll see on that one. But what I would recommend you guys do first is instantly head to the store. And if you're going to spend money, do it immediately. Okay, do it immediately. If you guys have the all man edition, you get those 4,600 uh, points. As of this very moment, we have not seen the store yet, okay? So I don't know what packs are in the store. I have no idea, but I definitely will be making a video going over the best way to spend your 4,600 points once we actually know what the store packs are. But immediately, I would say, come into here, buy whatever packs you're going to, because here is the thing. If you go out and you get your free players, right? Let's say you get your free rookie premier. Let's say you choose whoever. Let's say you go with like a wide receiver or a running back. And then you also get your all man edition player. You go with those players, all that good stuff. And then you come into the store and then you buy packs, right? Well, if you pull a really good wide receiver, you don't really have a choice, right? You're probably just going to sell them or keep them at wide receiver too. I guess you could do that. But a uh, better position, I guess, to kind of compare this to would be quarterback, right? Let's say you take Desmond Ritter as an NCAT, one of your rookie premieres, and you come in here and you pull Josh Allen. Well, what now? Now you're going to be stuck with Desmond Ritter because he's NCAT. You could quick sell him, but it's not going to give you that many training points to do so, right? Unless you take an auctional Ritter. So pretty much don't lock yourself into any players that you can't sell without opening up packs first and seeing your options. Because then you, if you pull Josh Allen first, you can say, okay, I got a quarterback. I don't need to use my rookie premier tokens on a QB. So without a doubt, the first thing to do when I do it every year is hop right in and I open a bundle. If you're going to spend money, spend your money. So that way you know what kind of options you have. Then after that, I would take all of your free players that you get from rookie premieres, uh, the free rookie premieres, the free base elites, and also have your team captain choice in mind as well, because we do have 14 captains. You get to choose one. We don't know at this moment if there is going to be an exchange set. Usually there is an exchange set, but we don't know exactly if there's going to be. But you can get your team captains up to 88 overall. They already said there's going to be some solos in the game right off the bat to do so. And then as I showcased for you guys with the all man edition, you do have those exclusive early challenges. So there's going to be some sort of challenges in here that give you something maybe it's just like an 80 plus overall elite whatever but that is something i would do very quickly is do that so that way you have all of your players that you have from packs and you have all the players that you potentially could get as ncat now after that though you're gonna want to take a look at the field passes in madden 23 which again as i said i will be making another updated video once we actually get our hands on the game and we can see like all of the rewards and everything as of this very moment we don't know what the rewards are in the field pass we just know there's gonna be some free players uh we don't exactly know you know how long it's gonna take to necessarily level up but it's really really crucial that you keep in mind and what players you're going to get for free on the field pass like if there's a pretty good receiver let's say you get it like level 20 well now you know you don't have to maybe use a rookie premier token on getting a wide receiver or at least one less receiver you don't have to go in and spend coins to get somebody because you're going to get one relatively quickly and as you guys can see here they already said as part of field pass the season pass will contain a lot of objectives similar to how you grind for Muntmaster, master blah, blah blah season field pass will feature player rewards and season one is five free players available we don't know who those are yet and then also there is a head-to-head -head field pass that will update every two weeks with a free player now what we do know about the field pass though and i'll go over that because they actually showcased a little bit in a blog is there are field passes for not just those but also for promos there is one for the headliners field pass right here now again we don't know exactly what you're going to need to do to complete these but this is something I would take advantage of instantly. Take a look at those objectives and get them done because you get coins and season pass XP. You get a 74 plus overall headliners player, a 78 to 79 overall headliners player, an 86 overall headliners hero fantasy pack. Then you have an 86 overall BND, which is the same as NCAT. So it's locked to your binder pretty much. You can't sell it. You can't trade it. You can't put it into a set. And then you also have a headliners field pass player, which is a player they haven't gone over yet that you can get for free 
free that is 86 overall b and d so again you can't sell whatever so whenever we know what player that is that's another position kind of mark off you don't have to buy off the bats and if we take a look at the blog that ea just put out the other day you guys can see the field passes in here here are actually some of the objectives that you're going to have to do so here you can see of course we have the season one the competitive and then the headliners field passes uh you can see some of the stuff you get right here they're showing they haven't shown us beyond this though so you can see a john madden you get at level two level three you do get some coins right there so you're going to knock these out but here are some of the milestones that you could do right score 25 touchdowns in any mode you get 500 xp score 50 tds 100 tds 250 score 75 points i'm sure there's going to be stuff just like that there also are daily things you can do so probably similar to even madden 22 where it's like open packs do a set play solo score touchdowns there's gonna be simple stuff you can do right off the bat to try to get some xp because you're gonna want to try to go through these levels very fast once you guys have marked down what players you're gonna be able to get for free from the field pass you already have all of your packs opened so you already know exactly what players are gonna be on your team you've gotten your rookie premieres you had your free 82 overall headliner you've already kind of made up your mind on what players you're gonna take from the headliners uh sets as well from the headliners field pass then after that i would say instantly start to work on those objectives start to work on those objectives for the headliners of course and also for the field pass just in general to try to get the xp to try to get all the free packs the free coins everything like that but aside from that day one something that i would be doing is i do this every single year and i'll let you guys know i'm definitely gonna make a video on this uh within the first couple of days i have for the past couple of years now is get a player packs now again we haven't seen the store yet so we don't know 100 percent for sure these are in the game but they have been the past couple of years and they tend to be 500 coins and that's it and you can open up this pack here i know we don't have power-ups at least to our knowledge to start off the year but doing the get a player pack method day one like the first couple of weeks is so good because if you pull a 72 overall gold and you spent 500 coins day one a 72 overall gold will still make you profit will still sell for maybe 900 coins a thousand coins 1500 coins it's going to be some lower overall gold some even 77 78 overall golds that are a couple thousand coins I would definitely do this and just spam this pack and sell pretty much everything you guys pulled day one because they're gonna have value and it's like literally easy coins and then once you guys have decided what players you're going to use in your team you're doing the get a player method you're getting some coins there you're doing all your field pass objectives to try to level up get your xp the last thing i want to mention to you guys is investing okay now a big part of investing i made a video on this a couple of days ago that i went way more in depth in and i'm going to leave that link at the top of the description so you guys can check that video out and kind of see more in depth the players that i personally am going to invest into have invested in for years but i feel like the first couple of days of the game being out are so big for making coins if you have coins to invest with I would you can get away with not having the greatest team the first couple of weeks because the difference between an 83 84 overall elite and facing an 86 overall elite is not that crazy in comparison to when legends drop right and then you're fighting off legends with 83 overall elites that's where it gets a little bit more difficult but the first like week or two you can kind of get away with using some of those lower overall base elites. As I said, guys, I'm going to link a much more in-depth video down below in the description uh, for you guys to check out if you are more curious about investing, the positions you should, maybe shouldn't uh, get, and also what program players to invest in as well. But of course, day one is you're selling off your golds, is you're selling off some of the leads you don't want to hold on to invest into, and you're getting your coins from leveling up. I honestly would say don't go for big players that you're going to have on your team day one. I honestly would just use a lot of your coins to invest. And last year, I invested heavily into kickers like Graham Gano, who are lower overall, but had a high kick power. Like, I'm just going to give you guys a couple of positions that I think would be good to. Uh, but again, check out the video down below. Graham Gano, right? Day one, when the game came out, you guys can see right here, he was going for about 18,000 coins and boom, shot all the way up to about 32K 
about what is that like two weeks later and of course with investments you might have to hold on to cards for a week you might have to hold them for two weeks three weeks whatever but you can make a lot of coins the first week and also a big thing that i'm going to invest a lot of my coins into just like i did last year are rookie premieres and there are some really really good rookie premieres that should increase in value although we don't have someone as crazy as like jamar chase and kyle pitts uh like last year they will still go up in price because when people get their rookie premier tokens they just instantly sell they're trying to get coins and if you have coins available definitely invest because guys like jamar chase went from 185k up to over 300k actually yeah 300k right there he peaked at i think i probably sold mine at about 280 290 whatever and when it comes to like when is the best time to sell these rookie premier players that's completely up to you. I can't tell you when to sell, but you can't go broke taking a profit. So hopefully this video will help you guys out and be ready for day one of Madden 23. And again, as I said, when the game actually drops, uh, I'll probably have a video out day one again to kind of go over stuff more in depth once we know like certain rewards, uh, packs in the store, when to spend your points on once we actually know what packs are going to be in the store there. And I will just update you guys on this video, but it might not be like the first or second video I post today so that's why i like to do these early and if you guys enjoyed this video check these out